check the forecast with John Elliott. What do you think of those mystery flights, John? I got to tell you, <laughs> that sounds like fun. It's a one-day deal. You don't know. I'm sure it's a fun, exciting place, so I like that. Hey, speaking of fun and the funnies, you know we like to do this. Got to give a big shout-out to Jack and Joyce Gibson of Rutherford, New Jersey. Their cat made Heathcliff because it uh, here's the Scrabble box, and then it goes and takes a nap in the Scrabble box. So I love a kitty corner when it's a local cat. All right, cats, let's get you ready for a cold start to the day in the city. Well, we've got a pretty mix of sun and clouds, but it is cold, 29, west-northwest wind at 10, wind chills around the area, some single digits in the Hudson Valley, wind chill out here, when the breeze blows is about 20, just like the city. We are going to see numbers struggle today, but boy, there's going to be a nice turnaround over the next few days, afternoon wind chills looking like this, but we see a big change by midweek with a shift in the wind, you're going to see things turn around nicely, look at that, 59 by Tuesday. Oh, wait, there's more. Warm air will continue to push through midweek into the tail end of the week with that big shift out of the south. So it's going to be very nice. Could even see some readings approaching 70. However, want to zoom in, though. Remember, with that warm air over the cooler ocean waters, there will be a big spread, maybe a 15 to 20 degree spread from the east end of the island to interior sections of New Jersey. So remember, you look at the seven day details, it's breezy and cold today. Better Monday, and then that warm up is in the works for Wednesday, Thursday. Could see a shower on Friday. And if that doesn't get you in the mood for spring, maybe this will. Not only do we spring ahead, but look at this St. Patrick's Day is just 10 days away. However, coming up this week on the 10th, it's International Bagpipe Day. So I thought I would get to you a lesson in bagpipes from the oldest bagpipe store in the country, the Piper's Cove in Kearney, New Jersey. That they sound awful. Uh, <laughs> most of the time, whenever you're watching a movie, they're always they're usually played as a joke. Why do people make fun of bagpipes? Because bad bagpiping is an awful, awful, awful sound. But when it's played well, it's absolutely beautiful. Very, very haunting as well. Can you control the volume on these things? Only to a very, very small degree. The continuous sound is the thing that really makes bagpipes unique. This is where the notes are made, yes. This is called the, the chanter. This is what makes the notes. And then the drones just make that humming sound. How tiring is it to play the bagpipe? If you ask someone to play for an hour straight, it's they're, they're going to pass out. They range all the way down from about $800, and then they go to the stand. The set that I sell to most people is in the $1,500 range. But you can go up from there and start getting real silver. And once you do that, then you're talking three, four, ten thousand dollars So $800 to $10,000 for a bag. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I was in Manhattan playing right outside of Madison Square Garden. And a lady ran over to me just in tears. She was just bawling. She couldn't control her emotions, just telling me how much she loved the bagpipes. It does kind of go through you. Those drones just creating the background humming so sound is very unique. There's not a lot of instruments that really do anything like that. So uh, Colin is the second generation there at the uh, Piper's Cove. His mom and dad started the shop. The bagpipe itself dates back to Persia, so it's an ancient instrument, and it's that constant wind, that constant sound that gives it that uh, haunting feel. Uh, coming up uh, on uh, Wednesday is International Bagpipe Day. Difference between the Irish bagpipe and the Scottish ba bagpipe, Colin and I are both kind of partial to the Scottish bagpipe. Back to you, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. It did sound beautiful.